What's going on, traders? John with Tactical Trading here with OTC Saturday. Uh, good to be back. Um, it's been a while. Been since uh, shoot, since May, since I made a made a video. You know, the market, uh, the old saying in the market, may go away, and uh, that's kind of what I did. Um, kind of lost my uh, fervor for uh, doing this for a little while. Um, it's been two and a half years since we started this channel and uh, started doing OTC Saturday. Uh, as we all know, this is the first and uh, only uh, YouTube show that was completely dedicated to the OTC. And, um, you know, uh, built a, a decent following on Twitter, uh, built an okay following here, uh, a loyal following, you know, some, some people that I, uh, I do admire. And um, I feel that uh, I do have an obligation to... Uh, to continue doing what I'm doing, especially with the market kind of uh, starting to get a little uh, comeback. I, I think um, the OTC should have a little bit of a bounce back. I don't know how long it's going to last. We do have a lot of problems going on on uh, geopolitically, basically. Um, and never before in my uh, few years on this earth uh, have we had so many uh, variables uh, converging into one uh, to basically create a scenario where it's going to be very difficult uh, for um, any prolonged gains in the market. Now, I do want uh, you to understand uh, any of these plays. I'm going to have uh, three plays that have run and why I think the OTC could be coming back. Three plays that I think are a little bit of a longer term swings, uh, maybe a month, two month swings. And then three that I think are uh, actually four bottom plays uh, that I think you need to keep an eye on for uh, short swings. Uh, none of these plays are long, long term holds. I don't think anything in the OTC is worthy of a long term hold right now. If, if larger, um, you know, real companies on, um, on the larger exchanges are having trouble uh, making money and, um, you know, holding any gains, uh, what, what, what kind of fool would I be to, to tell you that the, excuse me, that the OTC would have some, you know, long-term solid, uh, you know, gems. I, I don't think that's the case right now. I, I'm still, um, quite a bit pessimistic about the market. Um, very pessimistic about, um, the geopolitical situation. Um, we do have uh, some news that could perk up the market. Uh, uh, this upcoming week, I believe Tuesday, Trump should be announcing that he's running for president. Um, I don't know how much of an impact that might have, but uh, people, you know, tr all I care about is what's good for traders. And we know that the the environment for trading was significantly better when Trump was president opposed to what we have right now. So that that news may give the market a little bit of a boost. Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, you know, I guess we'll see on Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll see how that how this affects the market. But uh, but anyways, I mean, it's it's something we, we, we got to take what we can get right now. Um, again, we, we have the variables of this. Um, this conflict in uh, Ukraine and Russia. We have a possible conflict in Taiwan with Taiwan and China. We have the inflation um, in, inflation crisis that we're facing as a nation, the possible uh, diesel shortage that we could be running into shortly. And uh, you also have to keep in mind with this diesel shortage too. Um, the, com the country typically has a 36 to 40 day supply of diesel. Uh, that we have a 23 day supply does not mean we're gonna run out of diesel in, you know, it, it, per se. What it means is that we're gonna we're just, we just don't have the stockpile we typically have, so um, a lot of fear mongers out there saying that uh, we're gonna completely run out of diesel. I don't think that's the case. There might be some you know, some slight shortages along the East Coast um, in, in certain areas, but I don't think we're gonna completely run out of diesel. If we do, I mean we're we're in some big trouble. But I don't think that's gonna happen. But uh, there's a lot of very like I said, there's a lot of variables going on which. Uh, which lead lead me to believe that a lot of the gains in the market are short term and short lived, and and this is why you have to take your profits out when you get the, when you have the gains. When you have a nice trade, uh, and we're gonna start with one right here. Uh, one is uh, Global Developments Inc. GDVM. Let's take a look at this one right here. This is a play that started back in. Um, Back in early September, you can see this thing was trading at dubs four. And this thing ran all the way up to almost five and a quarter. What, did it, what was the highs that this thing ran up to? Uh, yeah, five and a quarter. Um, so this thing had a tremendous run, well over uh, 
a thousand percent. Um, it has pulled back now and it's starting to uh, gain its footing right here around four cents. Uh, pulled back to about three, three seventy, three and a half, right in that range, and it's starting to perk up a little bit. I think this thing is it, it might have another push left in it, and if it does break the five cent range, this thing could start running again. Uh, I hear some people on Twitter talking that they think this thing can you know run to twenty, thirty cents. I am not so sure about that, um, but um, again, anything's possible. Um, but uh, Again, I mean, you can see the volume is kind of uh, tapered off quite a bit on it. I mean, we're at one and a, one and a half million in volume, two point three million in volume. You know, all the way down from seventeen, eighteen million in volume, uh, a, a couple days prior to that. So you can see the volume. What, if, if if there is a high volume day and this thing does break uh, the five cent area, this thing could run. So this is one uh, that leads me to believe. Look at the performance of this stock. It leads me to believe that uh, there could be some. Uh, some good days ahead in the market uh, because uh, you don't get runs like this in a, in a complete dead market. Um, that's just that's just my opinion. But I mean, you take a look at this thing. This thing has just been strong as strong as could be. Another one um, that has had a really really nice performance. Is C Growth Capital. And we can take a look at the chart on this uh, on this baby right here. It's really moved. We're going to look at the six-month chart, the daily on the six-month. Uh, this thing has actually pulled back to uh, right here, the old consolidation area, about two and a half cents, and uh, has perked up since then. This thing, is, I think, is in the same situation as the last one. I think this one can really uh, can still continue. But this is an example of that. You know, this thing was uh, trading under a cent a little over a month ago and uh, ran up past five cents. So, I mean, you're looking at a 500% gain. So you can see, you can see that the uh, there is still opportunity in the OTC market. So I do like this one. It still has news upcoming, so uh, I would definitely keep my eye on this one. I hate when that happens with this. And another one that I think is nowhere near done, but uh, has had a very, very strong run, almost a 500% run as well, and this is WLAN, uh, Wylan Technologies. Again, I don't think this one's anywhere near done. This thing ran up to about a, a, a little over a penny and then pulled back all the way down to the sixes. Um, and then it's now since put perk back up and uh, ran up to almost a penny again and pulled back down to 88 to close. Um, you can still see, the, I mean, you can see this thing uh, has uh, quite a bit of volume. I mean, significant volume. You're looking at 40 million, 23 million, 24 million, uh, 24, 49. So the, the past five days, this thing has been in the uh, double digit millions. So, um, this one I think still has uh, some room to run, so I definitely like W L A N. These are three plays that I I think prove that there's they've already run. I think they still have an opportunity to to continue to run over the next month or through the end of the year. Um, but it's it's just something that uh, it shows that there's still some life in this OTC market and there's still money to be made in this market. Now. I'm going to go to three plays that I think are um, very solid longer term swings uh, th that I wouldn't mind grabbing and swinging for three, four months, maybe three months. Uh, one is one of my old favorites, Fernhill Corporation. This thing has been beaten up. Uh, it's at uh, 32.0032. And you can see in the six month chart, this thing has just been absolutely decimated. It's at the lows now. So, um, being that it is at these uh, lows, I, I do like the company. I like the leadership. I like the plan that they have going forward. I have videos uh, explaining uh, the company um, from uh, earlier this year on uh, my channel. So if you want to take a look at those to see exactly what these guys do. But this is one that I do like uh, over the uh, the next three, four months to maybe, uh, especially if crypto makes a rebound, I think this could be it. If you take a look at the two-year chart, you can see this is exactly where we started uh, talking about this company right about these levels um, back in April of uh, 2000 or 2021. And then uh, the one video I had that I, that I said, Fern is gonna be a 10 bagger. And uh, this is right at the low right here, uh, right in the end of June of 2021, uh, when this thing was at 0 0.0040. And this thing uh, right after that ran up to a little over six and a half cents. So um, I think this one, has some life i think this thing once once this thing gets a little momentum it can really move i really like it it's a solid it's a company that's uh, trying to do things so uh and they don't put out fluff 
on Twitter or anything like that. So I think this could be a solid play. Um, another one is DUTV. This is a real company doing real things. And you can see this thing's been kind of steady over the last six months, kind of flagging right here at the uh, one and a half to 130 range, you know, right in between there. Um, this thing is due for a breakout. This would be definitely one I wouldn't mind holding for 30 to 90 days uh, for a swing. I think this one can easily break two, three cents. And um, again, uh, the CEO uh, is uh, pretty vocal on Twitter uh, about... Uh, letting everybody know his plans and um, look they're they're in the agricultural space and uh, it's something that's going to be in need um, for module modular fertilizer and things of that nature so that's going to be a, a, a point a sticking point over the the next few years as far as um, shortages with fertilizer and things of that nature so these guys might be uh, might be a hidden gem here really like DUTV. And um, one more longer term hold, longer term swing that I like is QEDN, closed at 0 0.011. Uh, don't know why this thing has really not gotten any traction. Um, it had a little push back in uh, August, September, and kind of just faded back out. But um, down here, at, at, this thing's almost in the trips. Uh, I, I would be loading this thing down here. Uh, even if it runs a 30 or 40 uh, or, or gets somewhere near the highs of the half a penny of last year or earlier this year. I think it was earlier this year or last year. Let's take a look. Yeah, no, no, that was a little longer. Yeah, it was actually in uh, 2021, the end of 2021. It was right around a half a penny. But uh, the highs for this year is just a little over 30. So, um I mean, this is a real company doing real things like DUTV, and um, I, I don't know why this thing's not gaining any traction. It has a decent share structure. It's not overly bloated, so this would be another one I would definitely uh, wouldn't mind holding for a, for a few months. Now I'm going to go to a couple of bottom plays uh, that I think they're, they're close to the bottoms you can get. I got four plays that I think are bottoming out and... These might be a good uh, good play to take a look at for a uh, short swing um, to get you know get your profits and get the heck out of here. Um, this thing might be at like all time lows. TPTW. I mean this this thing broke got got down here in uh, September and October and it's right down here now. Uh, we can go back five years and yeah yeah these are these are five year lows. I mean. You can see this is this is as low as it got way back in 2020 as well too, and um, I mean this thing is definitely a, a a bottom play as you can see here. We can go. Let's see, that's about as far as it's gonna let us. Let's see all. That ain't gonna ain't gonna give us nothing up. But you go to that five year chart, you can see. I mean, we're we're we're, we're right around the lows of uh, the last five years, so. Uh, this is a this is a play I would definitely be looking at. It's got a decent share structure, so I would definitely keep an eye on this one. This thing's known to move when it can't. You know, when it gets a little bit of news or anything, this thing really pushes. So, uh, down here at a uh, fifth of a penny, um, you can make a nice come up on this one. Uh, another one is Kona Gold. Uh, this one down uh, under a half a penny. I like this one not too long ago. This thing ran up to uh, I think three cents. Let's take a look here. On the yearly chart, yeah, this ran up to three and a half cents uh, back in the April May area. I had a nice prolonged run back then, and uh, since then has kind of pulled down and right at this, right at the lows for the year. So, <clears throat> so uh, excuse me, I got a bad cold. Uh, pull down to the lows for the year. So I think this thing's uh, primed for a uh, rebound off of these lows. And that's KG KG Kona Gold Kona Gold Beverage, and. Um, Let's take another one. G. Gain clients. This is another one that's uh, close to its lows. And it's kind of perked off the lows. I mean, this one has perked off the lows a bit. I mean, the lows are like around half a penny. So this thing's not necessarily at its lows. But you can see when this thing moves, this thing can move. In July, this thing popped all the way to four and a half cents. So um, this is one I do like. They, you know... Um, 
they just announced third quarter numbers, so I think this one could really uh, start to move. And one last one is uh, one I, re you know, I hesitate, uh, but th but this one, this is a George Sharp special, and uh, he's done nothing the past year and a half. Uh, he's in court battles, and uh, I guess they got uh, 14 days to prove. Um, 14 days to prove he could cancel these shares. If if, uh, if the court allows him to cancel these shares, this one's going to burst. So I would definitely keep an eye on this one. It's at $0.05. Cents. This thing was all the way up around $0.60. Cents. So uh, definitely keep an eye on that and that court case. Um, I think this one probably will progressively go up to maybe that $0.10 cent area uh, before that uh, court uh, verdict is rendered. Um, and uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if he's if he's going to be successful or not successfully successful, this thing could go back to 30, 40 cents. So, um, but, but this one's definitely near low. So I would definitely keep an eye on this one. But as I, as I said earlier, the OTC, uh, right now, nothing is worthy of a long-term hold. I don't think anything's worthy to just stock away. I think you have to be diligent on everything that you're buying and selling. So, um, and take your profits when you get them because you know you can always go back in. It doesn't matter if it still keeps going up. You can always get back in. You're, you're not going to miss much. So um, just make sure you book your profits. But uh, that's all I got for you today, guys. Um, it's, it's good to be back. Um, we're going to be definitely be back next Saturday. And uh, also, uh, probably we'll be coming out with uh, some sort of midweek uh uh, midweek video uh, this week and probably every week thereafter um, just to keep you guys updated on the markets but we will be back for sure every Saturday so uh, thank you very much for uh, being back with me it's good to be back and as always let's get that money traders <laughs>